In this city report, we're going to take a look at the Traffic Signal Improvement Project. Hi, I'm Steve Meyer with the City of Clayton Public Works Department. I'm here today at the intersection of Forsyth and Carondelet Plaza to talk to you about the city's Traffic Signal Improvement Project. Over the next year and a half, we're going to be improving our traffic signals to uh, help the traffic flow and also give us more data about our traffic flow. This project may also be called the CMAC project, that's Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality, uh, is the grant program that we applied under to implement this project. The total project cost is around $350,000, 80% of which is covered by this grant. The other 20% is being funded locally. The Traffic Signal Improvement Project has three main components. The first of the three components for the project is traffic signal detection. Many intersections have detection that determines when a vehicle has approached the intersection. Primary types of detection, the first being the traditional magnetic induction loop. You may see a, uh, a rectangle in the pavement that's been saw cut and there is a wire actually in the pavement and electricity running through that wire and it picks up the steel that is in your vehicle and thus gives a signal controller panel letting know that there's a car there. Uh, that's the oldest technology that's most widely used. We're actually going to be phasing that out with this project. The next type of system is what we're installing is a wireless detection system. You'll see at some intersections a uh, small circle about four inches in diameter that looks kind of like a hockey puck. Uh, we refer to them casually as pucks. There's actually a sensor embedded in the pavement that's surrounded by epoxy and that also picks up the magnetic resonance of a vehicle when it's pulled over that puck. The third type of system is cameras. We have a few intersections here in Clayton that are controlled by cameras that see motion of vehicles pulling up to the intersection and then trigger the controller box to change the signal. So of these three types of detection, uh, magnetic induction is the oldest and most traditional. The problem with that is over time these loops do fail. Anytime there is a utility cut for a water main break or something like that or a road resurfacing project, those loops are destroyed and have to be reinstalled. Whereas the wireless system is much easier to replace. Uh, if a puck goes bad or we need to resurface, we simply pop it out of the pavement and it can then be reused after the project's over with. Traffic cameras um, also work pretty well, but they are more expensive. The second part of this project is going to be permanent traffic count stations. As we install these uh, wireless detectors, we're going to be installing them at different locations at the, around the perimeter of the city to help us measure the amount of traffic flow coming into the city at different times of day and during times of the week. This will help us to then adjust the signal timing, which is the third part of the project, to help with traffic flow. So as you can see, the three main pro parts of the project are detection, counts, and then signal optimization. And those will be done over the course of this project. The project is currently being designed by a consultant. We anticipate starting construction mid to late 2012. Then once it's been installed, then we'll be collecting data and then we'll be optimizing the signals in late 2012, early 2013. Now I may ask, what about some of the other roads within Clayton? How, and how widespread is this going to be? Well, the City of Clayton has 22 signals uh, that will be involved with this project. We will not be affecting traffic signals along Hanley Road, Clayton Road, or Big Bend, as these are all St. Louis County highways. Now, as far as getting around during this project, how is this going to impact traffic? There will actually be very minimal effect on traffic. Uh, the only time that there will be closures will be for the installation of the sensors themselves. And that's a pretty quick process of just closing down one lane, drilling a couple of holes in the pavement, putting the sensors in and then filling the hole with epoxy. Really you're looking at about a 30 minute lane closure uh, for each lane. So that work will be done at off peak times and then after the project's done we'll be re-optimizing the signals and actually that'll help traffic flow. For more information on this project and others check out the city's website at www.claytonmo.gov. Once on the city's homepage, hover over the government's tab and click on public works. On the Public Works homepage, click on Roadway and Sidewalk Improvements in the Section menu. Here you will find many of the projects the Public Works Department is working on, including the Traffic Signal Improvement Project. For more information on this project, contact Civil Engineer Steve Meyer at 290-8547. <music>